The interface of the Visual Flow Builder will appear. It has a dock menu and a canvas. We will be using all the components from the dock menu to create the bot. It's just a drag and drop process. There is a by default, start bot flow on the canvas. Let's configure it. Give a title for it. This will be the name of the bot. We will connect triggers and action buttons with this component, and from there we will add replies. We can use different types of replies from the dock menu. We also have button, quick reply, conditions, and sequences. Let's take a trigger and action button and connect them with start bot flow. Double click on the trigger and put keywords, for which the bot will be triggered. The same bot could be triggered with an action button. We can use any action button from the drop down list. We can use both the trigger or action buttons to start the bot flow. First, let's take a text reply and configure it. We just need to drag the component from the dock menu and drop it on the canvas and then connect it with the bot flow. Double click on the text component to put the text for the reply. We can call the user by their names and then write the text. We can enable the typing on display and set the delay time. Then we have image reply. Let's drag the image component from the dock menu and drop it on the canvas. Connect it with the previous reply. Use the next connector to connect it. Upload the image for the reply. Then we have generic template reply. Let's add a generic template. The generic template comes with a button. It has options to add an image, title, and subtitle. We can remove the button if we want, also we can add more buttons to it, or quick replies. Let's add more buttons and quick replies with it. Now, let's configure the buttons and quick replies. On the first button, we will add a condition-based reply. To do that, put a name for the button and select the button type as a new postback. Give a name for the new postback. Add a condition to the postback. Let's configure the condition. We have options for all match or any match. If we select all match then the condition will check whether all conditions matched or not. Any match option will work, if any single condition matches. There are two types of conditions, system field and custom field. We can add more custom fields if we need to. I will add a system field condition to check whether the user is male or not. For both male and female user we will send different types of replies. If the user is male then the condition is true, otherwise false. Let's add replies for true and false. We have an e-commerce store and have different categories for males and females. We will send the male user to their related category and the females will be sent to their related category. This is just an example of the condition, we can send any kind of replies we want. I will add a text reply and next, a button for both the replies to redirect them to our e-commerce store. On the button, we will add the link of the e-commerce category link. Now, let's configure the next button of the generic reply template. With this button, we will collect the user's email or phone number for the latest update. Write the button text and select the button type to email or phone. By using the quick replies we can collect email, phone, or get responses and then send them another reply. Let's configure the quick reply.
Now, let's add a carousel reply to show products to users. Let's add images for the carousel and configure the buttons. We can also use e-commerce reply. Let's add an e-commerce reply for the other quick reply. Select the e-commerce store and then select products from the drop-down list. Write the Buy Now button text and finally click on OK button. We can also use sequence messages. Sequence messages are messages that could be sent to the user after the current chat window ends. We can send the follow-up message through a sequence message. Let's add a sequence. Connect it to a post back. Let's configure the sequences. We can add any kind of reply or any post back with the sequence. Finally, click on the save button to save the bot flow.